Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on evaluating an integral. Now notice on the bottom we have x squared and on the top we have x. So otherwise, if it's not as nice as this one, we do have to use trick substitution. But in this case, we can actually avoid it. That's because if you let u is equal to x squared minus 16, then du is twice of x times dx. So we have what we required for the numerator, which is du divided by 2, right? So this turned out to be a pretty nice trick over here. Let's leave a 4 here, infinity here, and we have a du divided by 2. And then on the bottom, I have u to the 3 over 2. It's a little on the squeeze side of home, so my apologies there. Now here, it's a pretty straightforward integration here. So half, let's take that half out. And then the u, we're going to write it into the, it's really minus 3 and a half power here. Okay, so u plus 1, that's half with minus sign divided by minus half. So what we really have then is u to the half with a minus sign. Since it's a minus sign, let's just flip x equal to infinity, x equal to 4. So let's put it back in there. x squared minus 16. I think I missed the minus sign here. Square root 1 over. Evaluated it with x to infinity and x equal to 4. Now the interesting here is that with the infinity part limit, as b approach to infinity, 1 over b squared minus 16, this one goes to 0. It's pretty easy to see because the b gets bigger and bigger, minus 16, it's on the denominator, so this whole thing equal to 0. On the other hand, when a is approaching to 4 from the positive side, 1 over square roots of a squared minus 16, this becomes a infinity because and we're approaching to zero, okay? Now, it's the same results if limit of a approaching to minus four from the negative side. And that is also approach to infinity. However, limit of a approaching to four from the minus sign, this becomes imaginary does not exist. Okay, same thing over here. So basically the graph, if you combine all this information here, the graph says it all. So at 4, and you have a curve look like this. And minus 4, you have another curve look like that. So for this integral purpose entirely, we have a zero here, but then on the top, it's not existing. So the whole answer is actually approached to infinity. It's a little boring and anticlimax, but oh well, such is math. Okay, hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time. Have a confident day.